Every day, millions of Texans breathe air that's unhealthy for them. In clouds and smog, in stray molecules and vapors, there's literally poison in the sky. It's enough to make you sick. Texas is number one in America in the emission of fugitive toxic chemicals into the air, number one in benzene, number one in nitrogen oxide, and cancer-causing volatile organic compounds. The American Lung Association gave 21 of the 30 largest Texas counties an F for air quality. Most people realize that the air we breathe in Texas is not clean. Our air is much dirtier than the air in most other states. We do produce most of the energy for the rest of the country. But does that sentence us to die sooner? To have high rates of cancer? The Environmental Protection Agency, after years of warnings, says it will no longer approve the so-called flexible permitting rules Texas has used to regulate air quality. The EPA says that the lenient Texas rules violate the Clean Air Act. 49 other states follow those public health rules. Texas alone does not. Governor Rick Perry says Texas is a poster child for air quality and praises the work of the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the TCEQ. But one expert called TCEQ, without a doubt, the worst environmental regulatory agency in the United States of America. Clean air progress in Texas is due to federal mandates and actions by citizens and local environmental groups, says Neil Carman of the Sierra Club. Implementation of that law has been opposed and delayed by TCEQ and industry for many years. In fact, the flexible permitting issue is only one of many reasons why TCEQ is failing to protect our air. Agency executives have a history of overruling their own scientists in order to grant questionable permits to polluters. Former TCEQ executives have earned as much as $32 million lobbying for the same industries they once supervised. The difference between the goals of the Clean Air Act and what Texas permits is stark. One EPA study of a refinery near Houston showed that Texas policy could potentially permit twice as much sulfur dioxide to be emitted as federal rules would. These differences have real consequences for health. Millions of people live close to polluting plants or receive emissions on prevailing winds. There's been some very, very good research that shows that when pollution is higher, there's more asthma problems, and when pollution is lower, there's less. Asthma affects half a million Texas children, and the rate keeps rising. Other dangers are even more severe. Um, Port Arthur, Texas is home to more than uh, 10 refineries and about, what, five or six chemical plants. Oftentimes, we smell the, the odor of sulfur uh, and various chemicals that impact our breathing. Uh, a lot of our residents in the area have respiratory problems. Some of them have uh, uh, liver and kidney disease. Benzene is one of numerous toxic chemicals routinely released into the air above Texas cities. In one recent year, oil and gas plants emitted over 567,000 pounds of benzene into the sky above Houston. In sufficient concentrations, benzene attacks bone marrow. It damages the liver, lungs, heart, and kidneys. It breaks up DNA strands and causes cancer. When the city of Houston did its own survey, monitors near the ship channel showed levels of benzene that were above health-based risk levels. Many neighborhoods were located nearby. What you breathe in goes deep into your lungs, and what goes deep into your lungs then goes into your bloodstream, so it affects your whole body. TCEQ has turned a, a, a deaf ear to the cries of the people in this community. Each year we have tons and tons of illegal emissions dumped into this environment, and yet TCEQ looks the other way. In many cases, TCEQ rules allowed industry to keep secret the details and extent of chemical emissions in order to, quote, protect trade secrets. So in other words, it's okay for an industry to know what it's putting in the air that'll kill you from the air that we breathe. But it's not all right for you to know before you die. Uh, and I think that's the predicament that we have in front of us in Texas.